All right, everyone, Cowboy Trades here. Welcome back to the channel for another update on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's in imminent danger. Let's waste absolutely no time and jump right into this. We've just had a bombardment of bearish news. The SEC is coming out and suing Binance and CZ over several allegations, which we'll cover in a second. The weekly MACD has just fired a bearish cross. The daily MACD just fired a bearish cross. And the four hour MACD just fired a bearish cross as Bitcoin falls beneath the 200 week moving average. Let's dive right into this. So starting off with the news. So let's sum this up compendiously. The SEC has just sued the exchange Binance and their CEO over multiple securities violation allegations. They're alleging that Binance is offering unregistered securities. Binance's staking service violates securities laws and Binance itself failed to register as a clearing agency, failure to register as a broker, and failure to register as an exchange. The SEC is also alleging that Binance mixed up customer funds with the actual company's funds. This was on a scale of billions of dollars, and the funds that got mixed up were mixed up with a third-party entity that was owned by CZ. So there we go, that sums it up. If you want to read the whole article, I'll link it down below. But let's get right into the chart. So since this news came out, and obviously since the weekly death cross that we've just had on the MACD, we've just had a 5% crash to the downside for Bitcoin and things are absolutely not looking good. If you remember in our last few videos, we were kind of waiting for this weekly MACD cross. We said this was either coming Monday or next week and depending on when it comes will obviously depend when we initiate that breakdown. And as of today, it has finally loaded up. So for those of you who are new, warm welcome. I just want to quickly show you why this weekly MACD cross is so worrying. If we look at the bottom of the screen down here, you can obviously see the weekly MACD and I've highlighted with these vertical rays all of the major bearish MACD D crosses that we've had since Bitcoin put in its double top uh, back up at 69,000. You can see previously we had a bearish cross right here and within a month or so we dropped 50%. We had a bearish cross right here in November and all the way down to January in about two months, we dropped 42%. We had a bearish cross right here and within about two months or so, we dropped down 56% before dead cat bouncing and going lower. And right now, since the time that we have just put in this weekly MACD cross, we're not even down 5%. So, you know, on average, looking at these, this is a pretty scary statistic, especially if you're leaning more bullish right now. If we come back over to this chart, get rid of the weekly MACD. Actually, just quickly, like we said, uh, like we highlighted, uh, there is also a daily MACD cross that has literally happened in the last few hours or so. While we did have a new piece of data on the daily time frame for the MACD, uh, literally just before I was recording this video, it was still bullish and it literally just flipped bearish. You can see the last time it flipped bearish on the daily time frame was right here. And we had a red green red formation taking us down about 11% in a few days or so. So, you know, on average as well, look at the four hour time frame, it's crossing bearish. All of these timeframes are crossing extremely bearish for Bitcoin right now. And we have been talking on this channel about the most important Bitcoin chart. This is what we're witnessing on the screen right now. We're looking at this massive, massive resistance that we're trapped underneath at 28,000. And of course, we're looking at an amalgamation of the most important moving averages, namely this blue one, the 200 week moving average, the bull market support bands and the EMA ribbons all on the weekly time frame. We are absolutely sliding through these like butter Right now, if you remember in my videos, I was telling you uh, we're basically just getting squeezed right now. We're waiting for a decision. That decision will happen after we have a solid break above 28,000 or a solid break beneath 26,400. Now, while we are having a brutal break to the downside right now, if you are bearish, now is not the time to celebrate. The time to celebrate a move to the downside would be if Bitcoin closes a weekly candle beneath 26,500. On the flip side, if you're bullish, you really want to see a reversal this week above 26,500 because depending on whether we close to the upside or the downside of this 200 week moving average, this is in my opinion going to solidify the direction of the next trend for Bitcoin. We've pretty much been trending sideways since round about early March. We are now looking like we're setting up this macro rejection and a huge, huge move to the downside. Looks like it's coming very, very soon for Bitcoin. If we dive into some of our other macro 
macro charts just before quickly diving into the lower time frames. Bear in mind this video is going to be shorter than normal because I've basically outlined all of my thoughts on Bitcoin in the past few weeks or so. We were really highlighting, you know, we are waiting for this break of 26,500 and once that comes, you know, you know all the analysis we've been giving you in the past week. Bitcoin was obviously in the higher time frames, just got rejected from this macro 618. Look at that brutal rejection. 786 is all the way down here at 17,300. Uh, in terms of one chart that we pulled up on the channel recently, something that I drew a very long time ago, uh, in the immediate short term, I think we're coming right down to this trend line. You can see this was a very, very solid trend line with some beautiful touch points on it. We quite recently found uh, resistance here. We back tested it as support, back tested this as resistance, back tested this as support, and then we obviously flipped to the upside. So in the immediate short term for the macro, I think this week we're heading down to about 24,800 only about $1,000 away from where we are right now. As we've been saying on the channel, 25,000 is a magnet. If we do come over to the lower time frames, you can see things are starting to play out. We talked about this bearish divergence playing out for Bitcoin and how we had, you know, one individual bearish divergence here. We had two individual bearish divergences here, obviously leading up to this bigger bearish divergence. And recently in the past week, we highlighted we're no longer pushing up higher and, you know, having highs in the price action and lows in the RSI or the MFI or whatever you're looking at. The price action is making lower highs and the oscillation later is making lower highs as well. So we're seeing this picture perfect bearish divergence come into fruition. Like we also talked about, we have just retested the 618 Fibonacci on this rising Fib channel and we broke all the way down to the next one at 25,600. If we're looking at the bottom of this Fib channel, it's going to be round about 24,300. Uh, in terms of the daily as well, all the price targets are the same in the immediate short term. Uh, really, I've got my eyes on round about this 24,800 region 25,000 is obviously a big level of uh, macro support and resistance and we've got a mini CME gap down here at 24,800 all in all a lot of reasons for us to come down to 25,000 at which point we've got a head and shoulders down here at 24,100 massive CME gap down here at 20,300 huge bar pass and price target down here at 19,500 ladies and gentlemen all of this is very very hingent on where Bitcoin closes this weekly candle. If you've been watching my content, I've been letting you know this is the move that I've been waiting for to get that confirmation that we're taking that next leg to the downside. While it looks like it's being confirmed, do bear in mind, we really need to wait for a weekly close. Keep your eyes on 26,500. Once again, if we close a weekly candle body, Beneath 26,500, Bitcoin is screwed and we are going to lower prices. If we manage to push back above the 200 week moving average, that could be a completely different signal. That could end up looking like an SFP, swing failure pattern. We could talk about that when it comes to fruition. All we really need to focus on right now is what is Bitcoin doing this week? Is it going to close beneath the 200 week moving average? If it closes beneath the 200 week moving average, is it going to close beneath the EMA ribbons at 25,800? If it does, is it also going to close beneath the bull market support bands, which are also at the exact same valuation? If we close beneath the 200 week, that is very bad. If we close beneath all three, then we are absolutely boned. So for today, my friends, that is all I've got. I'm going to leave it here. Just wanted to make it quick and concise as Bitcoin is breaking down. I'm sure a lot of people want this update as soon as possible. So there we go. That's it for me today. Also, do bear in mind, we've still got just less than 24 hours away until I will be announcing a winner for the Trezor giveaway. Uh, so make sure you come and join the Discord. Make sure you come and enter that. But I'll leave it here. If you enjoy the content, let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. Share the videos with your friends. If you want to further support the channel, feel free to click the join button and become a member today. Follow me over on Twitter at 618 underscore cowboy. It's been your boy Cowboy Trades. I'm out. Peace.